I'm Benson Boone, and this is Cup of Tea. Sunday mornings were your favorite. I used to meet you down on Woods Creek Road. Pick five people, dead or alive, to create your ultimate supergroup. Five people, dead or alive, that I would pick to be in my super music group. Oh, that's such a good question. Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, Adele, Harry Styles, and Elvis Presley. What's one thing you know about New Zealand? I just know from so many people that it is one of the most beautiful places on earth. So I think that kind of means that I should probably come there in person and maybe do some shows and maybe come to some radio stations and maybe meet some fans and maybe do some stuff like that. What was the very first album you owned? I think the first album that I was like, like truly, absolutely blown away by was actually not until like just a couple years ago. Um, and it was divinely uninspired to, inhel- to a hellish extent by Louis Capaldi, Louis Capaldi's album. Um, it's like the longest name ever, but it is so good. I, it still blows my mind just how ridiculous his voice is. And then his music is just already so good. So it's like that, that I think that was the first album that just truly like inspired me so much. What's one thing that people don't know about you? Give a secret talent. Well, I think everybody knows that I can backflip. I think that's just, I think everybody knows that. Um, can you help me with this one? I don't know what to pick. The backflip's good. People options. might not know. Let me, hold on. Let me put my shoes on. All right. Here it is. You! It's epic. If you had to eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Gushers. If I had to eat one thing for the rest of my life, it would be Gushers. What are Gushers? <laughs> are you kidding me? You don't have them oh my, oh my gosh, you don't know what Gushers are. Hold on, I just need to take a second. <laughs> They're so good! Okay, you know, like, you know what fruit snacks are, obviously, right? Fruit snacks? You'll have to bring them with you when you come to New Zealand. You wait. So, so you don't know what fruit snacks are? Like, is it dried fruit? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Dang, this is actually blowing my mind. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, no, this is so this is so funny. Okay, 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 okay. Fruit snacks that are like little gummy candy, but it's not candy. It's like it's like little gummies in a little pouch that you just open, and they're so good. And they have like different flavors, obviously. But gushers are, oh my gosh, this is oh, great. Oh, I think I know. So we've got like liquid in the middle of the gummy. Yes! What's your favorite TV show to binge watch? <sighs> my favorite TV show to binge watch easily. Easily, Stranger Things. It's so good. If you weren't a musician, what do you think you'd do instead? If I wasn't a musician, I would probably be an architect slash interior designer. Um, Cause I was going to, I was, that's what I was going to college for. And like, I'm a, I do art, like, like not, like I'm, I'm an artist musically, but like, I'm in like an artist, like an artist artist. Um, and so I kind of wanted to do that route of things where like I would be designing houses or cool buildings and then also designing the interior. Cause I just love doing that. So I feel like that's what I would do. But if I didn't do that, I'd probably just be a male stripper. What was the very first gig you ever attended? Uh, the first concert I ever went to was John Bellion. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with him, but he is like one of my inspirations. And it was just a, he's a phenomenal performer. But yeah, that was the first concert I ever went to. That's like kind of what got me into music partially. What's the best piece of advice you've received from a family member? Um, the best piece of advice I've ever gotten from a family member is probably my mom. Um, my mom, I, I have, first of all, just 
very blessed with wonderful parents and my mom especially um, just tries to make sure that I'm doing what makes me happy instead of what makes everyone else happy. And so the biggest piece of advice that's the most important is, is coming from her just saying that life is pretty short and if you don't at least try to do what you love, I feel like you'll have so many regrets. And you know, I would hate to live with regrets. So she just says, try it and if you love it, keep doing it. If you don't, stop. And that's her that's her word of advice for me. I don't wanna say goodbye, cause this one means forever.